Hello! Welcome to Pint of a Story with me, Shobit. In this podcast, we bring you pint-sized stories from indie authors such as myself that you are likely not to have read before. Links to where the stories live on the internet will be in the show notes or description, and we do encourage you to click on them and uh, read the stories for yourself. Hope you enjoyed today's story, and if you do, please share it around and subscribe if you like. Hail to grandeur, immoral and pure, greed and secrets, passion and glory. The pulse is rising, the plot's surprising, you can't wait it, that's the point of the story. Yeah, that is the point of a story, and this week's story is called The Eagle's Feast, written by yours truly, and first published in May 2019 on showbitthebral.com. Your feedback or comments really matter, so please leave some. Hope you like this one. Here goes. One. As it soared high in the air, It looked hard for movement. The eagle hadn't eaten in a couple of days and it was imperative it ate today. It was still young, although by itself and left to learn to live on its own. Humans, with their incessant construction and felling of trees, had ruined their way of life. Or so it appeared. It pained the young raptor to find itself food. Habitats of preys had disappeared as quickly as theirs if not faster. And then there was... Wait, was that moment? It took a turn for another pass. This time there was definitely movement in the swamp near the cluster of trees to the west. Another pass. Then, lower. It was certain there was a snake in the mud after a few passes. Today, the bird would feast. It glided down and took a couple of passes just over its prey, establishing that it was long and most likely venomous. Go for the head, it told itself. This was an opportunity it couldn't miss. It would set him up for the next two days in the event it found no more prey in the following days. It perched on a branch that offered a good view of its prey. It was sluggish in the mud, and that made prospects brighter. A few more minutes of scrutiny and contemplation, and it left its perch to swoop for the attack. Alarmed, the snake raised its head and moved its hood in the bird's direction. The eagle altered course slightly, and after a tap of its talons in the mud, turned sharply around to face the prey. Several seconds of a war dance later, it had the neck in its clasp and was pecking at the head. The mud had made the talons as well as the snake's body slippery, and as it wiggled, it broke free. It was now injured though, easier pickings than before. Perhaps it was better to grip it and take it away from the mud first? The eagle flew with the snake tightly in its grasp looking for a secluded dry ground. As it flew higher, the snake in its last attempt wiggled with all its might and gave it all the life he had left in it. It slipped again and fell. Not today. The young bird folded its wings and took after it. Today, it ought to feast. 2. I can't believe you fell for it, he said. Maybe this is just her way of getting back to you. She's getting old now and this is the only way she knows, conning you into rekindling your relationship with her. He was going to get late if she didn't give it up quick. My mother isn't the best example of parenthood, but she wouldn't use you like this, she replied. Why would you travel 2,000 miles to tell me you should be there this week? It can't hurt to take some time off. It's just a matter of a few days. He wasn't pleased. But it is going to hurt, isn't it? They call me the hawk for a reason. And I've got him by his neck this time. I can't let him go, not now. 
I need this after what happened last time. I need to do justice to my reputation. He's all but done now and I just have to go to court and win this today. You'll read about it in the evening tabloid, I promise. Can it not wait just a few days? She must have seen something or she wouldn't just visit Warren and just leave. Seen something, he laughed. Are you listening to yourself? She cons people for a living. If something was to happen to me, it could happen right here in the house. I could slip and break my bones or hit my head and fall unconscious or something. I don't even have time for this. Let's just leave. I'll be late. I'll drop you at work on the way. I took a few days off, she said. I thought you would too. Don't go to court. These guys are dangerous. For all you know, they might attempt to stop you from showing up. And so what? I should not appear myself and do them a favor? Why would you take leave from work? She's gotten in your head again. I thought you'd learnt by now. I'm leaving. He picked up his bag and keys and kissed her and put his helmet on. I'll call you from the court. Just promise me you'll be safe, she said. When am I not? Wait till I devour the snake in court today. The courtroom drama was playing itself in his head as he rode to the court. It was his day at last. The one time in a decade when he was to lose big, he had finally turned the case around and was going to get justice yet again. Stop sign at the railway track. <clears throat> he would get little time to look at his papers before proceeding. As he stopped waiting for the train to pass, he went over his statements in his head. This would set him up for the foreseeable future. Splat! Something on his shoulder. He reached to feel what it was. Before it slid off his back, the injured snake bit him on the neck. Then it slithered and tried to crawl away. Witnesses saw him fall to the ground, struggling to get his helmet off. Just as they rushed to his help, an eagle swooped down and picked the snake up. Today, the bird would feast. So, we hope you like that story enough to tempt you to subscribe. We encourage you to share it with anyone else you can think of that would like to hear our stories as well. But, do not forget it is the writers that make the stories, so please read them for yourself by clicking the link in the description. That'll mean the world to us. Thank you for your time and we hope to see you with our next. In the meantime, remember, if you can't find what you're looking for, create it. Take care.